Hi, this is Madhumita Balamurgan, a postgraduate student here at Bournemouth University. Over the past few years, I have constantly made efforts to increase my intrinsic source of motivation when it comes to studying. Intrinsic source of motivation comes from finding joy in the process of studying, whereas extrinsic motivation is finding joy in the result or the output of studying, like finding a good job, getting good grades, getting another degree and so on and so forth. Now, having an extrinsic source of motivation can oftentimes be tiring, taxing and sometimes even a cause for anxiety because it's not rooted in the present moment and mostly made up of assumptions on what is going to happen in the future. Whereas the day we start appreciating the process of studying itself, studying becomes less of a chore. So with that, here are a few ways on how I find the motivation to actually enjoy studying being a master's student to appreciate the subjects I'm being taught. No matter how difficult or easy the subject is, I would recommend to take a step back and just appreciate the subject for what it is and what it's doing. For example, as an editing student, some of our lectures in the first term revolved around the histories and theories of editing and how it came about to be. Now, some of these historical editing theories might no longer hold validity in modern editing world, but the beginning of everything is as important as the progress it has made. Make your study space fun. I have trained my brain to switch to work mode when I'm at my desk. The bed, the sofa, the dining table are a big no for me. I need to be at my desk to concentrate. To make this space super self-sufficient, I've decorated it with some pretty prints that I enjoy looking at. I have my mini snacks stash. I've got all the books and notes that I need to do my work. I've got my job hard disks and most importantly, my water bottle to stay hydrated. Paying attention during your lectures. A lot of people tend to get lost in lectures by frantically copying down every single thing the lecturer says and every single thing that's on the presentation onto their notebooks. What ends up happening is you're left with a bunch of words and little to no memory on what that lecture was actually about. Often the slides that you see during your lectures or seminars are put up on Brightspace. What surely helps is to listen to your lecturer as they're talking because more often than not lectures tend to give out additional informations during these classes that could help you have the edge when you're doing your essay or exams in the future. Getting an accountability partner. Get a friend or a classmate with similar goals and make a Google Calendar with all the goals that you would like to achieve long and short. Several studies have proven that people are more likely to tend to show up for themselves when they're next to somebody who is on the same track as them. Having an accountability partner not only makes studying a lot less tense but also helps you to systematically approach all your goals. Find time to relax. Masters can be a taxing time in a student's life, which is exactly why making a timetable for both your studies and your relaxation period is important. Find a couple of relaxation activities and no, this does not mean scrolling on social media, unfortunately. Activities like yoga, reading a book, going for a run could all be so helpful and beneficial to your health. So these were some of the stuff that I wanted to share with you guys on how I turned studying into an activity that I actually enjoy doing. Hope this video was helpful and I will see you guys soon. Bye.